Stop asking me to go places that require me to pull out my debit card and spend money, cause Bitch, I'm broke Seven dollars to my name Me and other rappers not the same Bitch, I'm broke I I would just like to announce that it is Halloween now. Uh, this may come as a surprise to some of you given that it is July, but the Council of Spooky Bitches met this weekend, and we have decided that this is Halloween. This is Halloween. Look at all these spooky treats that World Market has right now. There's spooky pasta and these hot chocolate bombs. Pumpkin spice coffee is a must. Halloween bark. Adorable candy corn meringue. Uh, just a warning, this pasta does have a slight fishy taste to it. Um, otherwise it's very cute. And then they also have these adorable sodas. Why are you so obsessed with Halloween? Halloween is cool. If you're like me and you forgot to put up Halloween decorations and you realize kids will be here in a few hours, try this quick DIY. All you'll need is tissues, a marker, cotton balls, and dental floss. Take the tissue, put the cotton ball inside, and squeeze right below it. Then you'll take a piece of dental floss, tie it around, and pull it tight. Leave a little bit of extra on the end. Then grab a Sharpie and draw on cute little eyes. You've got yourself a tiny little ghost. You can tie it up with the extra piece of dental floss on your outside trees or bushes. Add a piece of tape to the back so it doesn't spin, and you've got yourself a quick DIY Halloween decoration. I love doing this spooky little setup every single year for my cats. I take a Ouija board doormat as well as the Michael Myers candy dish, fill it up with cat food and just see how my cats uh, like it or don't like it. <laughs> If you're looking for an easy, simple, fun Halloween food craft, this one is perfect. You just get some pretzels and then some melting chocolate. I like to do it in this little squeeze bottle because it makes it so much easier to control and you use a toothpick and make it look like a little spider web. I like to top mine with sprinkles. I did it in both regular chocolate and white chocolate because I think it is just so fun. This one I topped in a candy corn sprinkle. Pro tip, put your squeeze bottles in warm water and then it will keep that melting chocolate the whole time you're working. These were so fun. My kids were obsessed with them.
let's make a charbuterie board all right, y'all, I'm going over the supplies real quick. I bought these um, charcuterie letters from Hobby Lobby and I painted them each a different color, which is black, orange, and purple. And then I put this um, wax paper that I got from Amazon in it to line it just to keep it a little bit more sanitary. And then I just filled it in with various um, meats, cheeses, nuts, and crackers, and fruits and, and veggies. And it was very simple to make once I got past this learning curve of making this rose out of this salami. Anyway, very easy to make, like I said. And if y'all have any questions, you already know what to do. Baking with new spooky bakeware fries. Set up into 350. Mix all the ingredients. Mix with your hands like a peasant. Because spider webs and ghosts. Head spray. I feared I may have overfilled. I definitely did spider webs for this study. Powder sugar. At this point, I fear these may not be perfect. Could be better. Can't get over how cute this bakeware from Home Goods is. webs and bats. Je sais pas vous, mais moi, lorsque j'étais plus jeune et que je regardais la famille Adams, j'avais trop peur de la main qui s'appelait la chose. Pour pouvoir réaliser cette fameuse main, il te faudra une pâte brisée que tu vas dérouler. Ensuite, tu vas déposer ta main et à l'aide d'un couteau, tu vas faire le traçage de ta main. Tu fais de même de l'autre côté. Alors là, c'est la quantité pour faire une main, si tu veux faire une deuxième main, il te faudra une deuxième pâte brisée. Une fois que tu as fait ça, tu enlèves le surplus de pâte, tu places les mains au frigo et en attendant, tu vas préparer les saucisses. Tu coupes les saucisses en deux sur toute la longueur. Tu reprends les mains que tu avais placées au frigo et là, tu n'as plus qu'à déposer tes saucisses. Tu recouvres avec l'autre main et là, à l'aide de tes doigts, tu vas bien refermer pour éviter que ça s'ouvre à la cuisson. Ensuite, à l'aide d'un couteau, tu vas former les plis qu'on a sur les doigts. Alors, tu vas le faire au milieu des doigts et un peu vers le haut. 
Une fois que tu as fait ça, tu vas prendre la main et tu vas la déposer sur un moule qui est un peu arrondi. Si tu n'en as pas, c'est pas grave, tu peux faire son. Pour faire les angles, tu vas prendre des amandes effilées et les placer au bout des doigts. Faut appuyer pour qu'ils puissent bien tenir et ne pas tomber au moment de la cuisson. Ensuite, tu vas badigeonner ta main d'un œuf battu, placer la main dans un plat allant au four. Et là, tu n'as plus qu'à faire cuire à 190 degrés pendant environ 30 minutes. Tu n'as plus qu'à déguster avec la sauce de ton choix. Pour ma part, j'ai mis de la sauce barbecue et je me suis régalée. Mmh, succès garanti, n'oublie pas de t'abonner pour avoir toutes mes recettes. Thank you. 